welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. So today I have a Trader Joe's haul for you guys, and for the most part, everything is really like clean, good food. Last week was a little bit of a struggle for us, various reasons, but this week we wanna get right back on track before we get too far gone, right? <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this haul. Pretty much pantry and fridge is pretty bare minimum right now, so I wasn't even gonna really show you guys. You guys know I do that sometimes, just because sometimes I may have some more things and my haul may not be as big and you might be like well don't you usually get this or need this but I might already have it so for the most part though we have a few like nut butters and that kind of stuff left but all of our fresh foods we needed to restock um, we did get a big bin though of spinach about two to three days ago so I didn't get too much greens right now just because of that but that's the only thing really but yeah let's get into it if you guys do enjoy this video please please give it a thumbs up and of course please subscribe if you have not already and let's get into it I'll put the prices with everything primarily everything is organic um, I think pretty much everything maybe a few fruits because that's harder just to get but yeah let's get into it so starting off I did pick up some bananas and by the way like the fruit bowls no bananas were completely out um, we have some frozen ones of course and then I do have some lemons and a few oranges but they're getting pretty old so the oranges are I mean so we'll probably replace those with these little mandarin oranges Oranges. They just look really, really good. So pick those up and you get three pounds. I did go and restock my onions. I did get the sweet onions. They have the yellow ones too, um, but I like the sweet ones a little bit more. And then also some purple or the red ones as well. And then I did pick up a thing of organic apples. This, but you know, it's kind of funny. It just says organic apples. And they look good. They look kind of like a Fuji apple or Honeycrisp apple. I mean, they kind of look just normal. But I have no idea exactly what kind these really are. Like, it doesn't say. So, oh, you know what? Fuji. Never mind. Just figured that out. <laughs> I'm like, what are these? So I picked those up too. I did go ahead and get a cantaloupe. I think it needs a little bit more time. Cantaloupes are a tough one to, like, really know um, when they're ready to go. Sometimes you can smell them and it'll, if it smells like it, you're good to go. Um, but yeah, do you guys have any tricks on like how you know for sure this is a good one or it's ripe and ready? Let me know. I love cantaloupe, but I love it when it's good. <laughs> so I think this just needs a little bit more time. I know it's even still a little bit maybe too green. Anyway, give me your tips if you have any on that one. <laughs> I did get some organic gold potatoes and we do have some russet potatoes right now too, so I'm gonna get through those first, most likely. And then I did go ahead and pick up some sweet to make sweet potatoes. And I'm gonna probably do some food prep again. Um, I will link below my food prep playlist, and that way you guys can see kind of the things that I do do with my like potatoes and that kind of stuff a lot of the times. And I'm feeling that this week, so I'm probably gonna do that. And I did pick up two things of romaine hearts. You get three heads in each. And like I said, I already have the spinach um, in the fridge, so that's why I just stuck with that. I did get a thing of whole carrots. And then I also picked up some asparagus. I used to love asparagus. And you know what, I still do like it, but I don't love it as much as I used to. I don't know what that's about, but I was kind of like wanting it this time. It looked really good, really fresh. Nate loves it. So definitely picked up that this time. I usually just throw it like in stir fries, even barbecue, it holds up pretty well too. And then two bags of bro broccoli florets. I can't like speak today, I don't know. <laughs> and these are both organic. I just like that it's already done ready for you. They do sell them in like the big uh, crowns of broccoli and that's totally fine, of course, but it's kind of nice that they do it for you. <laughs> and then got two packages of uh, zucchini and these are pretty big too. Um, I got three. This one actually has four because it's a little bit smaller. This one has three, but they are really, really large. So uh, these are a pound and a half each as far as the packages go. And I really, really love zucchini. It's one of my favorites cooked up, especially on the grill, which is also why I did buy more corn on the cob. We just we love to grill it. A grill the zucchini, grill the corn on the cob. Delicious. So, so good. And I did get one bag of baby lettuce mix. I've gotten these in the past, but it's been a while. And it's those Aero Colbert. And it's basically little green beans. These are ready to go, completely trimmed. 
um, cleaned and everything. You can microwave them really quick or steam them. I'll probably just do an instant pot for a minute. I don't know, but this looks really good to me this time. And I thought I would get those even to just do like literally a handful of them and put them in the microwave even and put it on a salad. It's really good. <laughs> so I picked those up. And then I did get a thing of snow peas for stir fries as well as sugar snap peas. I, I haven't gotten these in a while and I really, really like them. I did go ahead and pick up this berry medley. They did have frozen blueberries, but I do still have some. But you guys know I love to put frozen fruit into my oatmeal now. And I just thought this would be a good change up to have like the blend. So I'm going to try that for oatmeal. And then I did get more green onions. That's a staple. I always pick these up. <laughs> And then I did get some raspberries. Again, they did not have, you know what, maybe they did have some of the organic ones of the raspberries, but they didn't look good. Um, so I just got one of the regular ones. And this is just, again, to put like on top of oatmeal too, or just to have. I did get a four pack of um, avocados. They need a little more time, but just to have those for various meals. And I got these for my kiddo just to have a snacks. He loves these. And I'll usually like put these into individual serving sizes and then he could throw them into his lunch and he's good to go. But those are those veggie sticks. I picked up one thing of brown rice spaghetti pasta. We love to do, like I said, even like a stir fry over some like spaghetti noodles or angel hair pasta. And sometimes we'll do that with a little bit of like teriyaki sauce or soy sauce. Um, or even like a peanut sauce. That's like our big one. We love. So I picked that up to have that throughout the week. I also got two cans of garbanzo beans and two cans of black olives already sliced. And then this is a new one for me, guys. I've never tried it. It's the, I didn't know actually that Trader Joe's had sprouted bread. They... I just didn't think they had it. They didn't carry it. I know like Ezekiel bread is very popular and sprouted and people really enjoy that, but I know that they don't carry it there. And so I just didn't realize they sell, sold any sprouted bread for that matter. So I want to try this out. It's a sprouted flourless whole wheat berry bread. And it has like dates in it even. I think that's what gives it like the sweetness. But here's the ingredients on it in case you're interested in more in depth. It is vegan. There's, I just gotta kinda watch sometimes too for like honey, and we were good there. So it was 80 calories for one slice. The sodium was relatively lower. Sugar's low on it. So I don't know, I just thought I would try it. Maybe it'd be good with like avocado toast and that kind of thing. It's a little bit firm, so we'll see. Maybe it'll be best toasted though. <laughs> I did go ahead and pick this up again. I got this a couple weeks ago and we're completely out of it now. And we actually both really, really like this. We've had the like just clear, or not clear, but the white um, quinoa before. And it's good, but we prefer this one. It It's not as mushy. I feel like the all white one is a little bit mushier. So we really like this. So pick that up again. This is a new one for me. I've never tried this before. You guys know we've tried some of the almond milk creamers, um, like the Califia one. That one's really good, like the hazelnut flavor. But I've never tried their coconut creamer, um, like non-dairy one. Totally vegan, symbol on the bottom there. But I just thought I'd give it a try for some coffees. I also picked up more of these organic spirulina tablets. I'm completely out of them. I took these, you know, about a month ago. Um, you take three a day, so it doesn't take long to go through them, really. And I like them. They're a little bit, they smell terrible. <laughs> they do. And they are a little bit difficult to uh, get down. Here, I'm going to open it for you, in fact, because I do need them anyway. Um, and I'll show you what they look like. Just poured out a few, but that's what they look like. They're, they're just a little bit, like, they're not super smooth to, like, they don't go down as easily, but they're not huge. So... Yeah, I mean, against my nail, you can see they're not that bad. But I just think it's a great way, again, to just get more greens in. So I'll pick those up, and they're cheap. I also picked up a thing of dog treats. We're getting low over there in our little dish, and the kiddo's like, let's get more. Okay, so got these peanut butter flavored ones, and then also picked up more cat food. This is like an every two-week thing now. I've pretty much figured out for that little thing right there. She's a hot mess. 
She really is. <laughs> so she, we've been getting this for about two months now, maybe, or a month and a half, and so far so good. She likes it, so got that. I actually picked up this Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo and Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. Amanda Allison here on YouTube has recommended this before, and it does have eucalyptus in it, which you know for me is everything. I love that. However, I have used um, shampoos in the past that have eucalyptus in it, and as much as I adore the smell, it actually, for me, made my hair very dry. So I've never actually tried this one though before, and I'm gonna give it a shot, but I'm kind of like skeptical a little bit of like, is it gonna work for me? But let me know if you've ever used these and what you think of them. But I know Amanda says she loves them, so I'm gonna give them a shot. I will say I smelled them in the store and they do smell amazing, they really do. So pick those up. And then I actually have never tried their micellar cleanser um, towelettes. And I love using micellar waters like on a cotton round and removing my makeup that way. It's pretty much all I do, in fact. I have a Pacifica one I'm using right now. And I just wanted to try it in a, you know, makeup remover wipe and see how I like these. You get 20 in here. Um, most of the time you get more like 30 just to try to like almost get you through the whole month. But let's be honest, I don't even wear makeup every day. So <laughs> this should last me a little while. Just thought I'd try those out. And then, of course, I picked up a new flower to add to the collection of all my plants. So I'm going to have to get like another uh, pot because this one is like not one you usually would keep. And this is more of like a papery thing on the outside, but it'll work for now. Um, but aren't these pretty? Something about this orange just like stood out to me. They're sun star flowers. We'll see. I just really, really liked them. Very pretty. <laughs> and then I met my parents real quick at Costco and I, I haven't been at Costco in so long and I just kind of browsed with them real quick and I saw these and they look so good. So again, this is from Costco, not Trader Joe's, but still thought I'd show you. But they're these salad topper, Smart Life is what they call them, but basically it's sunflower seeds, dried cranberries, and pumpkin seeds. If you can kind of see that in there and again put on like salad or even just have a handful um low in sodium they're only 70 milligrams and for a fourth cup 140 calories which i didn't think was really that bad so i just wanted to give these a shot and then i did pick up a big thing of grapes i want to say off the top of my head since i don't have the receipt um i believe this was 6.99 or 5.99 and i believe these were 8.99 for these green grapes at costco so that is what I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, definitely wanting to get back on track. Just was one of those weeks and ate out a lot more than we planned and just not very good. And we're definitely feeling that now and definitely want to get back on track. So that's what we're going to do. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week and I will see you guys very, very soon. Mwah.